In the previous tutorial, we used c -sharp code to get the latitude and longitude from an address using Google Geocoding API. In this tutorial, we will get the elevation or height of the location from the latitude and longitude data using Google Map Elevation API. We will also continue setting up the rest of the project so that the 3D map moves to the desired location after a user inputs the address. We will start with creating a new core routine method that takes a URL that will return a JSON string containing the elevation or height data if we pass it as a web request. Let's add another string variable. We can name it URL elevation. The URL structure contains a standard start with the latitude and longitude values as a string, then the API key. Note that the latlon variable is the one we got here, containing the latitude and longitude with the comma between them, which we will use in the URL. We will create a new Unity web request for the new URL elevation. Then we use the yield return and start the communication with the server. Let's check if the web request return a successful result. Otherwise, we will debug log the web error. I will get the text of the data from the web request and store it in a string variable similar to what we've done in the previous function. Let's have a look at the result of the web request. This is the part we are interested in. Similar to what we have done to get the latitude and longitude data previously, we will use string manipulation to extract the elevation value here. Let's get the index of the elevation word. Next, we get the index of the colon character and the index of the comma character. Then we extract the part containing the text of the elevation value and remove spaces before and after the value. Let's add another double variable and name it elevation. Now I will convert the text into a number and assign it to a variable of type double. Let's wrap the code block inside an if statement that guarantees there is elevation data in the text before going further. Okay, let's create a public variable that references the cesium georeference object here. So we can set values for its origin authority and the latitude, longitude, and height values using our c -sharp code. We will also create another public variable that references the cesium dynamic camera. So we can reset it every time we change the location of the cesium georeference origin. All right, I will create a public variable of type cesium georeference and call it cesium georeference. I will create another public variable to reference the cesium dynamic camera. The variable is of type cesium camera controller and I will call it cesium camera controller. In the start method, I will set the type of the cesium georeference origin authority to longitude, latitude and height values. Okay, let's go down to our get Google map elevation method. I will add a line that sets the longitude, latitude and elevation values that we got from the two methods to the cesium georeference game object. I will also add 400 meter to the elevation so that the origin is set higher to avoid starting inside a building or an object, which would make it hard to navigate. Feel free to adjust the number based on your need, especially if you are working in a place that has building higher than 400 meter. I will also reset the dynamic camera position every time we search for a new address so that the camera will be at a position of the origin.
If you want to show the search location from a top view at the beginning, we can set the angle of the camera to look down. Then the user can always navigate with the dynamic camera and orbit around in 3D. Now, the get Google Map Elevation method is ready. We can call it at the end of the get Google Map Location method here. All right, we are done coding. Save the script file. Now we need to call the onTextChange method every time the text of the address input field changes so that we can trigger all other methods and set the origin of the CZM georeference object. We can do that in Unity Editor. In the editor, select the input field object. In the inspector, scroll down to the onValueChange string section Click the plus sign, then we need to add the game object that contains the script file. Let's drag the script game object to the slot. Now we need to specify which method gets called when the input value changes. Click the drop down sign here. We need to select the script file. We know this one is map. Then inside the map file, we select the target method, which is onTextChange method. We also need to assign the two public variables here in the editor. Select the scripts game object, and inside the inspector, you will see three references that need to be assigned. Let's drag the input field game object into the designated slot. Let's also drag the CZM georeference game object and the dynamic camera. I think we are ready. Let's click the play button. I will search for the Sydney Opera House. Remember to click on the scene after the search so that when orbiting with the keyboard keys, they don't change the address in the input field. You can use the mouse and the WASD keyboard combination to orbit around the scene in 3D. Let's search for a street address now. I will input 456 Kent Street, Sydney, New South Wales, 2000. And similarly, we can orbit around using the mouse and the keyboard keys. Well done! In this tutorial, we learn how to use an input field to enter an address and move to it with Google 3D Maps using C-Sharp code and different Google Maps platform APIs.